They're making it up as they go along. According to the attorney representing many of the families, he was told the students participated in two sets of videos in mid-December. Those videos were part of a viral TikTok trend that now has them facing major disciplinary actions. The attorney, Pat McGee, says the students then had an expulsion hearing where the principal was able to make adjustments to that discipline. McGee says the school changed it from Disciplinary Code 70, which states there was an aggressive action directed at students or a threat or unwanted physical contact while on school grounds, to a Code 21 to include any other offense not covered by any of the codes of discipline under LPSS guidelines. One parent who chose not to be on camera says before this her child has only had an ID infraction. She says she is confused about the punishment. I haven't seen the video, um, so I myself have not been able to identify my own child. Um, I understand it was something that was done on school grounds. That's I understand all of that. I think there should be some sort of discipline, but I just think this is really harsh. She's now concerned about the future of her child's education. Later on that day, I received the one from the Lafayette High Academy saying that she wasn't eligible due to discipline. So, like, this is throwing a wrench in our plans, you know, for her, and I just, I think it's unfair. McGee says he believes the disciplinary action in this case needs to be based on a student-by-student -student basis. We're not saying our students don't need, the, you know, there needs to be an absence of punishment, no. But the punishment needs to fit the behavior. That's why you have a rubrics. And when you misuse the rubrics by stating it's any other serious offense, well, then you know they really don't have a cause of action to justify what they're doing. Just, it's the, the anxiety is at an all-time high. Um, on Friday, she called me at work, and she was just like, Mom, can we just skip the hearing and you put me in another school? And it's because she doesn't want to have to go through this, you know, and I don't blame her. Yeah, so we reached out to the Lafayette Parish School System in which we have yet to hear back from them. In Lafayette, Trey Francis, KTC, TV3.